Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Joshua chapter 3, starting with verse 7. And the Lord said to Joshua, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. You shall command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of the Jordan, you shall stand in the Jordan. They're about to head into the promised land. And the Lord's saying, guess what, Joshua? I'm going to do a miracle. I'm going to show the people as, as I was with Moses, so I am with you. You're going to cross the Jordan on dry land, just like Moses um, got Israel out of Egypt by going through the Dead Sea. Nowhere near as big a body of water, but still. If a body of water is just like, bloop, parts ways, then you're pretty, you pretty much know that that is a complete miracle, that God's doing it, no man's involved. And here's the, and so it's a cool story. Read the whole chapter, kind of like what I said yesterday. And actually, instead of parting the waters, God stops the waters way up the bank. So that, and this, apparently this river flows into the Dead Sea. So yeah, the water just like stopped flowing into the Dead Sea for a little while. Just kind of like that water just trickled down, trickled down, and boop, that was it. Because the water was being held up up here, more like a dam than a split. So different mechanic than what happened at the Red Sea. And the Israelites passed on dry ground. Now the message I have is really, it's, it's kind of like a derivative of this. Whenever we're crossing into our promised land, whatever it is the Lord's called us to do, whatever it is, not necessarily that we aspire to do, it's really what the Lord has called us to do. When it comes to His calling, when it comes to His work in our lives, it can be an aspiration of your heart as long as the Lord's behind you. But this ha this to cross into your promised land, that's the calling of the Lord. That's where the Lord wants you to be. That is, that is a bit different from your dreams and your aspirations. Nothing necessarily wrong with them, but referring more to the calling of the Lord, what the Lord wants you to do with your life. How many times have you heard that in church? Uh, if you're an atheist and you've never, or you've never been in a church, or both, then you haven't heard that. And if you're watching these messages anyway, even if it's for trolling purposes, thank you very much. If you want to get into your promised land, the Lord's going to have to move. You're not going to be able to do it. I know even me starting up this YouTube channel, if the Lord hadn't done something pretty miraculous, I couldn't be doing this. A lot of things have happened. And of course, keep watching the channel. You'll get to learn more and more about me and about what I've been through and about stories that have happened in my life. But I wouldn't be here if it weren't for the Lord and some pretty amazing things that were completely beyond my control happening. And you two may not be my promised land, may not, may not be where the Lord wants me in the long term, but it's something that I did want to do from the bottom of my heart and the Lord gave me permission to do. And there are things God has called me to do, like ministry itself, and the Lord's also opening up doors for that with me right now. Now I'm using YouTube as one of those ministry access points. Um, it's a great opportunity. Not many people have tapped it very well or much at all. So here I am. And I know the Lord has made a way for me to do this. And for you to get into your promised land, the Lord's going to have to move. You won't be able to do it. And that's actually a really good thing because the l works that the Lord wants to do, they can't be accomplished with human hands. They can't, they can't be accomplished by the strength of the flesh. It's got to be a spiritual work. So when the Lord's moving and the Lord wants you to do something, whenever it's the thing that like is your life calling or some really big thing in your life, it's probably not something you're going to be able to do. You're going to have to put in work and effort. Like I am sitting here before the camera. I'm taking the time to upload these videos. Yesterday was a nightmare. It took me six hours to upload that Dark Souls session. So I'm putting in the work. But I couldn't even be here if the Lord hadn't moved the water out of the way and opened up the way for me to do this. And for you to accomplish what the Lord's called you to do is going to equally have to be something that He prepares you and equips you to do. So don't be scared because you can't do it and you don't see a way. That's not your job. It's the Lord's. I feel like the last few talks have been a little bit more spiritual, which is a good thing. Um, these talks are meant to be on the spiritual side and meant to edify Christians. And I want everyone to thank Christian and non-Christian alike, but a lot of these talks are going to be very Christian-centric, very Bible-centric. I'm talking from the Bible after all. So thank you guys very much for watching this. 
I love each and every one of you, and God bless.